Hi everybody, welcome back to Pavo News Around the World here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at this Pillsbury action figure from 1971, and it was made in Minneapolis, so let's get to it. So if you guys are wondering where I found him, and yes, he does look nicer, and I'll show you guys all around him and stuff, but I usually did like uh, some bubbles. I'll let him sit in a sink with bubbles and it took off all the stuff off of him and he looks like brand new and then I used a bottle and sprayed all the stuff on him, chemicals to get all the black and stuff off of him. So you guys can see him right now and he looks like he's brand new. It's because I cleaned him very good. He When I bought him at this Village Antiques, place in Nampa it was pretty dirty and he had a tag on him but they didn't give me the tag so it was fine but they did give me this interesting receipt but can't show you guys so I'll just uh, read it off to you so I bought it at Village Antiques 1309 Second South Nampa I bought it at Village Antiques it was $12, but I paid, because they gave me a 15% off discount, I paid about $10.81 for it. 1971, Pillsbury action figure. So uh, let's go on to see the action figure. The Pillsbury action figure is what I meant. So, um... So, let's get to it. So, uh, here's the Pillsbury action figure. Um, do like him a lot. He has a little bit of blue right here that rubbed off from here. I'm, I'm thinking it rubbed off from. I'm trying to get the camera to focus in here. But you guys can see right here, it's a little bit of blue right there. So, uh, here's the Pillsbury. These the spots on him right here and right here. In here on his head won't come off. If you guys are wondering what he can do, you can uh, squeeze him. That's what he can do. You get the camera to focus in. Let's do that again. He squeezes his tummy and stuff, which is fun. And you can move his head back and forth. I like his hat and right here that it sell, says, not sells, but it says Pillsbury right here up at the top. I like that on him. I like the blue eyes and I think this is the original vintage 1971 Pillsbury action figure that was made from Minneapolis is what I'm thinking. So uh, here's his like tie right here and there's his arms. He's pretty squishy all over. He can, you know, squeeze his face and stuff. And he can even squeeze his hat. So, uh, here's an up-close look at him. There's his legs. So, there's him from that side. Turning him around. And there's this side. Turning him around to the back. And then there's this side. And there him. is some little black spots all around a view of his what he looks like on the back right here if I can get the camera to focus it says 1971 Pillsbury Corporation the camera is really not wanting to focus on that and it was made from Minneapolis it's him from the back and then that's his thing that's right here his uh what do you call it, like a scarf or something like that. He looks just like he did in the commercials, and I like this action figure, so that was it for the back. So here's an up close of what it looks like from this side. And there's the Pillsbury, vintage Pillsbury action figure from 1971, made from Minneapolis. And... 
If you guys go to Village Antiques, which I recommend, it's a place downtown Nampa. They have a lot of cool stuff you can get there for a pretty good, decent deal. And I'll see you right back here next time on Pogo News Around the World. Bye. Check right here to see what's coming soon.